Hello YouTube Ethan, you're back another kicking action figure review. Today's review is over the super dope Jewel Madama figure from the uh, McFarlane Halo line. And I hope I'm pronouncing that name right. Here it is on the box. I did not play Halo 4, which is who I believe this is from. I watched the Rad Bad play that game like as soon as it came out, which was years ago. So give me a break here. But there's his name right there. It's also in the title of the review. So you got that going for you. But you got to say the prototype here looks way cooler than the actual figure. He's got lots of different paint and stuff. Like the armor is a different color than the body. And it just looks like it has a lot more detail paint-wise, and uh, I really wish that was the case. I wish it looked more like this guy, here. But there are other figures in the wave, as you can see there's this exclusive Spartan Soldier, which I kind of want. I'll have to look up where it's an exclusive for. It's probably GameStop or Walgreens or something like that. And then Spartan Thorn, who I also have, you'll see him in this review, pretty cool. And Commander Palmer, who I'm not going to get because I have the Scout, which is the same armor. This is just the same thing, but a different color with different weapons really and it's a specific character I suppose but yeah that's the wave right there and he's the only covenant in it I do maybe I need a few more covenants I'd like some Prometheans or also but yeah Joel Madonna I'm probably just gonna call him an elite for the rest of the <laughs> review I really just wanted more elites to add to my army and the big reason I got this guy aside from wanting other elites is because most of the parts on him are just parts from the Elite Zealot figure, which I think is the best Elite figure of all time. It is a fantastic figure, one of my favorite Halo figures, uh, and I just, maybe he is my favorite Halo figure, I don't know, man. He's great. Like, the Elite Zealot here is really great. The only parts that are different on these two guys are the necks, uh, really the entirety of the arms except maybe the armor. And I think that's it. But totally different arms and hands, different necks, maybe slight differences in the head because of how the helmets fit. Uh, we'll talk about that later. But, yeah, sculpt-wise, that really seems to be all that's different on these guys. So the sculpt's, like, just different enough to pass off as something maybe a little new, but at the same time, still basically the same. Like, if you look at this guy... If you looked at them both without any paint at all, if they were just both totally gray or something, then they would look like the same figure almost if they didn't if he didn't have this on his head. Which I think is cool. I think it really pops and makes him look look unique. I don't know why this holographic thing is actually on here. I don't know what the purpose is. Because once again, a long time since I watched anyone play that game. Never played it myself. I just really like the Halo universe and lore. And I do play Combat Evolved quite a lot. I love Combat Evolved, so yeah, this guy is pretty cool. He does have a few accessories. Uh, he's got this plasma sword, and I think the plasma swords for the Halo 4 figures look fantastic. He's not technically a Halo 4 figure, but he is from an unreleased Halo 4 wave. So, that's what these figures are from. But, the plasma swords here look great. I love the cackling energy coming down them. Both this one and the one that come with my Zealot are about pretty much the same, I believe. They just look fantastic, and... This guy might hold his a little better than the Zealot. I don't know. He's got different He's got different hands. Uh, it's probably about the same, actually. They hold him about the same. But he can put his hand back a little farther than the Zealot. Because the articulation in the hands is different. But right now we're talking about paint and detail. And uh, not just that, but... Accessories still. So the helmet does come off just like the Zealot. But... If this guy's head, because I swapped their helmets to see how they fit, because this helmet's a little floppy. It's not totally snug like my Zealots. It can come forward, and st it's, it just it flops around a, a bit, you see. It's it's a little... Okay, that was a bad example. There we go. Now, see how it's flopping? It's flopping all around. So that's... I don't like that. That bothers me. I really love how my Elite Zealots helmet stayed on. When I swapped the helmets, the helmet still flopped on this guy, but still stayed on my Zealot, so... I don't know what's up. I don't know what's up with that. I guess the head might be slightly smaller and they didn't change the helmet or something. It, that might just be like a factory error on this head, but it's whatever. As you can see, he's almost like an albino elite or something. He's very, he's actually quite terrifying. This almost bleached white elite. Like nuts, lice. Look at that. I keep trying to say nice, but I said lice twice in a row. But 
very nice detail in the mouth and stuff. It's very scary. I like this emblem on him. I think it's it's a religious thing. I'm positive, I believe, because he was worshipping uh, the didact and stuff. They also started stocking the didact at Walmart. Right with this guy. If you like my action figure collecting page, I post pictures of cool figures and stuff I find in stores and see online and stuff. So if you like that page, you can see the pictures I took where I found these in the Walmart trading card section, even though they should have been in the regular toy section. It had the Didact and a bunch of Assassin's Creed and Walking Dead stuff too. Godzilla and uh, Planet of the Apes. And Pacific Rim also. But yeah, you know, I really like those. And he's cool in black. I really wish he looked like the prototype though, because the paint detail, uh, from the waist down, it's... So, because like, there are different colors. He's not just black all the way through, but it's like a real dark purple. And then kind of the black here. You see that? It really pops more on the prototype. But on this guy, it's like, uh, it's so hard to notice because it's so dark. You see that? Like, from the front, it looks totally black. You see? And then you turn him to the side and... You know, there's more room for contrast, and you notice, oh, it's actually kind of purple. You get me? And he does have the paint on the back with those and stuff, but it's just not as much detail. He's more solid colors, and I'm used to Halo figures having, like, nice washes and stuff all over them, because my Elite Zealot, I'm just going to keep bragging about it, because it's a wonderful figure. Get one if you can. I've seen him kind of expensive a lot of places now. But as you can see, the detail on this guy is great, but the paint... You know, it's not as good as the Zealot. On his arms, though, lots of great paint on his arms. He has these, like, freckles, like he's a ginger uh, elite. <laughs> and they look they look really nice, actually. Uh, they really do. They look good on his hands. And they're on the joints and stuff, too. Like, it's on the joint, so you don't have to worry about that small little detail. Uh, I don't like these rivety joints. I don't like them on my Zealot, either. But I really don't like them on this guy, because they really interrupt the flow of paint and detail. But they don't do that as much on the Zealot because he has like all these markings all over his body. So it's it's real different. But, you know, this guy's unique enough to buy if you have the Zealot. But stick with the Zealot if you can only get one. Now this guy's articulation is actually pretty cool. You know, he can look all the way down. Uh, as you can see, his head can move up and down like that. Kind of side to side. You can turn it like that. And then he's got, you know, up and down, side to side in the neck and stuff. On the arms, you got a nice up and down and forward and back. Which is cool and all. You got a swivel here. Also, you know, that elbow joint. And uh, it differs from the Zealot here because uh, it's one joint for the swivel and the little articulation. It's just, I keep, What's the name of that joint? What's that joint called? <sighs> crunch. That crunch there. Because uh, the Zealot has like a swivel here and then there's like a crunch but these are just the same just the same joint it's pegged in there instead so that's cool and then you can open and close the hands which is good for holding the plasma sword which he holds all right i suppose uh he's got nice movement here up and down just a tiny bit but mostly side to side uh you can spread the legs a good bit actually so that's nice and you can swing him forward like that which is cool and you don't even have to swing him totally all the time but you see, he's got nice movement. He's got some pretty nice movement. Because you can uh, bend his knees back a little. And you can bring him forward some. But not too much. But you can you, know, you can crunch him. And everything. So it's all good. You swivel. They're very nice. And he has joints you can turn in the feet. But ah, uh, you can't really turn him in the feet. Because he's got these spikes here. And they really hinder uh, the movement of the foot. So there's not much up and down you can do unless it's turned correctly. But you can't really turn it the right way. Because you, you see they get turned around in there. But this one can go up and down. But my other one really can't. Because the joint's not turned right. And it's a little rough to get it turned back all the way. You see what, I'm, you see what I mean? It's not it's not very good. But he stands really well. These feet, they really plant. And he, they, he stands really, really well. Because uh, my, my Reach Elite. I have an Elite from Halo Reach. That sucker can't stand unless I, like, prop him up in a corner. He's in the back of the display because he just can't stand. But this guy, he can stand. So, you see, he's got no standing problems whatsoever. 
Now I think it's time for a few size comparisons. Here he is with my other two elite figures. Uh, here on the left we got the Zealot I keep blabbering about. And here on the right, my Elite Miner from Halo Reach. Uh, and he's from the 2-pack. This is the 2-pack version. But I think... Uh, <laughs> I think Jewel Madama looks pretty good with these guys, actually. I really, really do. Uh, as you can see, obviously he scales well with the Zealot. They're mostly the same pieces. My, my Zealot's a little cocked to the side. But, you know... Really same size. And I think it looked good with the Miner, too. The Miner is a little smaller. He's a little smaller. But I like that. I feel... I mean, he's a Miner. The word Miner is pretty Miner. So I think that it's great. I think they look great. I really do. I think he looks wonderful with my other Elites. Now, here is with some Spartans. These are the last size comparisons because I don't have any uh, of the other aliens. The Prometheans, I believe. I don't have any of the Prometheans, and I don't have the Didact or uh, Flood or anything to show you. Speaking of Flood, he's not going to scale well with like Halo 3 figures. That's not going to work out. It's not going to work out. Halo 3 figures are too small. But these other Spartans actually look pretty good because you know we got kind of a Halo 4 sculpt Spartan even though he's from the same wave as this guy. He's still from the cancelled Halo 4 wave. Spartan Thorn here on the left. Uh, and I think he looks great with Thorn. And then here on the right, we have the Anniversary Master Chief, the Combat Evolved one. Love it. Ah, uh, he might be, I think he's my favorite Spartan figure. Love it, love it, love it. And, uh, I think he still great with the Master Chief, too. And he'll scale well with your Reach figures also. But Halo 3 figures might be a little small for this guy. The Elites are definitely too small for this guy. This guy's huge. He's pretty big for a Halo figure. Standard Halo figure, anyways. So what are my final thoughts on the McFarling? Jewel Madama figure from their Halo wave. Well, he's pretty cool. Uh, don't like him as much as my Zealot. Like him more than my Miner. He's he's really nice. Uh, I wish his paint popped more. I wish his helmet wasn't as floppy. Uh, I wish that the stinking... I wish his plasma sword didn't fall out of his hand as easily as it does. Took me one or two tries to get him to hold it up like this. And it does come with one of the pegs. Like you can see the peg in the sword right now if you look. Comes with one of the pegs so you can peg it to his thighs. But why would you do that? I didn't show it earlier because why would you do that? The sword is still activated and it's just attached to his leg. It doesn't make sense. What they should do is like they did if the Marvel Legends build a figure, uh, Filler Chobgoblin. And give an ignited sword and an unignited sword. And you can put the sword that's not activated on his thigh and display it like that. Or you can have him holding the activated one. I think that's a good idea. Of course, McFarlane's never going to do it. And I never thought I'd say a toy line should be more like Marvel Legends, honestly. <laughs> Marvel Legends has improved. Uh, but then again, that is a build a figure so it takes, you know, it gets special treatment. But I still think this guy's pretty cool. I'll give him 4 out of 5 stars. I do really like him. I needed more elites. He's a really cool elite. I've been messing with him for weeks. He hasn't left the side of my futon that I constantly spend time on. He's really nice. He is a really nice figure, and I really do like him. So yeah, that's it, you guys. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the cool links in the description below. Facebook, Twitter. Follow you back on Twitter. Uh, lots of other just great stuff going on. Great stuff going on in the toy community right now. But I am gonna... I am laying off action figures right now. Not buying many at all. Because, you know, I gotta... Um, I gotta start paying rent and stuff. You know, living in and near Atlanta. Looking for work in the film industry. So, wish me luck. Thank you all so much for your support once again. Uh... If you want to donate money, get in contact with me, and I'll tell you how to donate money. <laughs> I, I, I need it. I need it to eat, actually. I, I need to eat food. I'm starving to death. So if you, <laughs> if you, want, to, if you want to donate, I'll, I'll put it towards the YouTube endeavors, you know, making funny videos and stuff. Like funny stuff like Safari Sam and... Godzilla and Gigan, and I'll put it towards stuff like that if you guys want to donate. So just hit me up if you actually do want to do that. But anyways, enough of me trying to get your money. Thank you all so much for your support. I'll see you all later.